Suppose we have some function, uh, a function like e to the x or sine of x, and our goal is to find a polynomial that well approximates the function, or at least it well approximates the function around some point x equal to a. So what does that even mean? What does it mean to say that a function and a polynomial are really close in some particular region? So I'm going to use as an example the function f of x equal to e to the x. And I want to investigate this function around the point x equal to 0. Now, the very simplest type of polynomial that I can imagine is literally just a constant. I, I'm going to label this polynomial p0 of x because I'm only going to take the 0th term. And it's literally just some constant that I will denote a0. Or if you prefer, you can think of this as a0 times x to the power of 0. So I don't have any x terms, I don't have any x squared terms, I just have a constant term. Now, if my claim is that this polynomial and the original function e to the x are a good match, the sort of minimal bar that I could ask for is that the, the function and the polynomial are at least equal at this particular point. In other words, I could demand that f of 0 is equal to the polynomial at 0, and that's going to imply that e to the 0, which is just 1, has to be equal to a0, and so now I know that my polynomial is just going to be equal to the value of 1. So if I go to Wolfram Alpha and I decide to graph what I have, I have the, the graph of the function e to the x, and I have the graph of the function x equal to 1. If I graph those two things, you can see the scenario that we have, which is that at this particular point of x equal to 0, both the graph of my constant polynomial, this polynomial is the function 1, and the e to the x, they are indeed equal at that one particular point. But this is sort of not that useful far away. So it's sort of like, okay, this polynomial and the function, they're, they're an okay approximation, like right at x equal to 0, but really quickly, the polynomial becomes a terrible approximation for e to the x as I leave the point x equal to 0. Well, maybe I can do a little bit better than this. Maybe I can approximate by a polynomial of degree 1. So now I'm going to imagine that I have what I will call P1, and P1 has a first order term, a term of the form x to the power of 1 plus a0. So this is just some other polynomial. And I'm trying to think, what does it mean for this other polynomial, this linear polynomial now, to be a good approximation for the function? And one thing I can demand is the same thing that f of 0 is equal to p1 of 0. And that's going to imply in exactly the same way if I plugged x equal to 0 in for x1, it's going to go away. So it's going to imply that the a0 is equal to 1 in exactly the same manner. But that doesn't tell me what my a1 is. And so now what I'm going to do is demand something else. I'm going to demand not only are the functions equal, but the first derivatives are going to be equal. And I'm going to demand that the first derivative of my function at 0 is going to equal to the first derivative of my polynomial at 0. And this is going to imply if I take the first derivative of p1, uh, that is just going to be equal to the value of a1. And this is going to be equal to derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And so it goes to e to the 0, which is just 1, is equal to the a1. So in other words, my polynomial p1 of x here is going to be equal to 1 times x plus 1. Back to Wolfram Alpha, I'm also going to graph the function x plus 1. And what we're going to get here is now we get this nice linear line. That's the green. And what I note about this is that when I had just the, the p0, when I when I had just the, the, the function that was just the constant 1, it was a perfect match at x equal to 0 and quickly went bad. Now, the graph of x plus 1 is a perfect match at x equal to 0, but you'll also note that the slope of x plus 1 and the slope of e to the x are the same, and that it is a much closer match for much further away from the value of x equal to 0. I feel more confident with x plus 1 as a good approximation than I do with just my initial polynomial, just the polynomial p0 equal to 1. I'm going to do one more of these. I'm going to now imagine that I'm approximating by a polynomial that is now a quadratic. In other words, it's got a x squared term, it has an x to the power of 1 term, and it has its constant term, a0. 
And if I think about this, if I've got this quadratic polynomial, and I have my original function e to the x, and I want to say that those two things are, are very similar or well approximated, I'm going to demand that the function are equal at x equal to zero. I'm going to demand that the derivatives are equal at x equal to zero. And I'm going to demand that the second derivative is going to be equal at x equal to zero. So if I did the same calculation as I did before, uh, if I only took 0 or 1 derivative, the a2x squared term is still going to have an x in it. When I plug in 0, it's going to go away. So as before, we would get that the a0 is equal to 1 and that the a1 is equal to 1. But what we want to look at now is what happens for the a2. In other words, if I take the second derivative of my function I evaluated at 0, and I want to set this equal to the second derivative of my polynomial at 0, this is going to imply, well, two derivatives of e to the x is just e to the x again. So in other words, another e to the 0, which is the same thing as 1. And that, if I take two derivatives of my polynomial, is going to be twice a2. And it's twice here because we are going to have the x squared, the 2, comes down. And so that's going to imply that my a2 is equal to the value of 1 half. Or in other words, my polynomial p2 of x is going to be equal to x squared divided by 2 plus x to the power of 1 divided by 1 plus uh, just the power of 1. So back to Wolfram Alpha, I'm going to additionally graph the x squared divided by 2 plus x plus 1. This is my new degree 2 polynomial, and hopefully we're going to get the best of all worlds. And there we do indeed, if we look at the green, it follows the e to the x function closest for the longest. If I go along on the green here, the green looks pretty good. It looks really close to the original blue e to the x for quite some time. Maybe it goes from sort of like maybe minus 0.7 to 0.7. It's sort of eyeballing it looks really close, and then it starts to get worse. So here's the point. If I keep on doing this, if I could take, I could take a third degree polynomial, I could take a fourth degree polynomial, I could take a hundredth degree polynomial. And in exactly the way I did before, I could figure out what all the coefficients of the polynomials were demanding that the function, the first derivative, the second derivative, all the way to the hundredth derivative was going to be the same. And then the polynomial that I would get would be a really, really, really good approximation for the original function around x equal to zero. And it turns out that it's not just a really good approximation at x equal to zero. I can go a little ways away from x equal to zero, and it's still a good approximation. Now, one of our big questions that we're going to ask is like, well, what kind of functions have this behavior? How far away from x equal to zero can I go and still be within some tolerance threshold, some level of uncertainty? So that's something we're going to have to investigate in the future.